Bidara, the Buhu Hada, Kubon Sida, Booster, the Nostapa, International, one two frocker, like a pipi helmet, jiggy jiggy, biggy diggy, heavy heavy, baby, do you want me? Yeah. I've got this feeling that I get to Welcome back to Life of Sky with I and Sky Sky Soul Flatage Continent aka Pity Cash Pity Money Pity Cash And today I am back with an Unpopular Opinions video 2020 edition Okay? So you guys already, I feel like it's quite self-explanatory You know what I mean? Like you guys are gonna listen to what I have to say And obviously Everyone's entitled to their own opinion and if you guys are going to be snacks, you know, oh my gosh, that's not the way that it should be, that's how it should be. There's a reason why they're called unpopular opinions. You guys came to listen to my opinion, so I don't want to hear anything. So let's just get straight into it now. Let's talk about fake AirPods now. <laughs> why? Like, I think I'm only mentioning this because I would lie to you, like, on campus, I've just been coming so many, so many fake air pods my boy dog actually those are not even air they're ground pods <laughs> <laughs> i've been coming those ground pods like what like the thing is like the only problem i have with these air pods is just the size you know what i mean you guys are trying to drip but those things are large <laughs> you have tampons hanging out of your ears and <laughs> <laughs> Those things are even too like they're actually too big to even fit into like the ear the holes of your ears you know what I mean? Unless you've got some hella big ears then. But besides that, guys, let's stop this fake air pod. Let's stop using wearing these ground pods, my guy. Like, get ones that are these smaller. Let's try to my situations. Now you're gonna get those Goomba Fire ones. <laughs> 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 but I got some tampons that got in your ears. Come on. Like, eesh. Let's talk about people that tile everywhere at their houses, man. Like, this thing I don't tell it, hey? Gonna you get that to the garage of their house, there's a tile there that leads to the garage. <laughs> <laughs> you get in the garage, there's tiles. People that I was they tile the walls. Why do you guys do that? Like, the thing is that I thought that, like, it's people that don't want to wallpaper them, then they think, like, they can just put tiles there. So what was happening now? Do you guys now want to start to mop the walls? <laughs> Like, make me understand. <laughs> hey, it's 2020 and I'm still seeing them house that be tiled up the walls, my boy. Tiled the, on the way, on the driveway. <laughs> Let's stop this, guys. Let's get into the habit of pavements, you know? Pavements. At least paint the floor, yeah, and the, you know, situation. Not the, now, now we get to your house, the, 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 the cars crack the tiles, they put the, the cars parked in the garage. Why do you guys do that? Yo. And no offense though, like you'll find someone sitting there they, they, at their house, they got some tile there, so the walls are tiled. Oh, like, up to the ceiling. Up to the ceiling. <laughs> come on, no cement on the walls, guys, come on. Come on. <laughs> in winter. <laughs> in winter, now we are bad because you guys have tiles everywhere in the house. Guys, come on, let's remove it, let's renovate. People now, let's split the bill equally when you go to eat out. Nah. I. I don't know about that one, my guys. Splitting the bill equally. Like, do me and you go out? And then, Nina, I order a burger, got chips. And then you, you now go. And then you're gonna order the blood of Jesus. You're gonna have the bread of Christ. You're gonna chow the last supper, the oysters, croissants, everything. Your bill is woman one point something. Mine is just woman a simple. Now you're like, no, let's go equal. <laughs> <On the bill. laughs> Why though? I don't know, but they don't want to pay the full amount of their bill, so it'd be easier for them to like just split equally with everyone. So now my meal being hundred rand, I'll end up paying like three fifty now because now we have to make it equal for you. I like doing my nails. I like having nails that are snatched. But you know, girls that have what well, my partly cloudy nails. You know, you you cha cha nail polish, ne? And then like it starts to get off. Then there's just that young nail polish that's in the center. Why do you start That's a partly cloudy. <laughs> oh, partly cloudy nails, bro. <laughs> <laughs> then there's just 
that random piece of nail polish stuck there in the middle of your nail. Now your nails are looking partly cloudy on a Wednesday, mate. Why? Oh, well, hi guys. This is my dot dot there in your nails. Let's learn to get together. Let's make it a habit of going to nail play. Even though you can't afford nail, just get a clean nail polish. Get some nail. When you see starting to be partly cloudy, remove it. Start from scratch. Um, yeah, guys. I just feel like braces. Hey, braces are childish. Ah, oh, no, dog. How long have you been living? How long have you you've lived most of your life with teeth? That are throwing gang signs. <laughs> Teeth that have been placed in cursive. <laughs> now, now's the time you feel like you wanna change. I mean, like, obviously, dull out you must, but she's like, I don't know, try some Invisalign. Full braces at 40, more 45. I'll forget about it. Uh, just forget it at that point. I just feel like, let it go, my boy. Let it go. Just a, you embrace who you really, really are. I feel like in 2020, let's learn to be creative when it comes to like posters to groove. Cause I feel like I see the same theme for like these groove like posters. You'll be, it'll be like, oh my gosh, and say it's party, pull up. It'll be palm trees. Why must it always be the palm trees? What <laughs> is this a, the beach? But there wouldn't be a beach. There'll be palm trees, water features. What's the beach first, calling pop? <laughs> guys let's learn to be more creative with like poster making for groove like i feel like now i've attended the same party three times like sometimes you don't even remember what event you went to because all the posters were just looking the same right then maybe they just changed the color scheme and but they just told fakasa my young water feature palm trees <laughs> like some of some of them are even nice they even put those little you know those chewy things that go in the water it, yeah pull through <laughs> is there even gonna be water there is it a pool party? It's nothing, but you just put palm trees and summer vibes in winter. But you know what? And also people that are like, oh, yeah, you guys are not ready for this chat, you know? And one day we need to talk about yada yada yada, but you guys are not ready for this chat. Like, I just feel like people that say that, like, y'all think y'all so edgy. Like, the thing, they, if people like that, they talk like they've just graduated, like, from, like, this higher education of, like, your life. They just know things that are just, like, next level. Like, we're not on their level of thinking, like, yeah, guys, one day we're going to talk about why water is great. But as for now, you guys are not ready for that chat. On my mind, right? Like, people do this, like, a lot on instagram i feel like hans mostly do is like i don't take a snap like oh my gosh guys like i just look so crusty right now like you're not crusty that is your face oh i'm so crusty that's not crust that's what you really look like just accept that go stand in the mirror and look at yourself and say that this eats me this is who i am no oh my gosh guys you, i can't believe you guys are seeing me this way what way would that be because that's your bare face that is your bare face don't talk about no crust because that is who you are you look so normal though like that's what you look on a regular schmegular day i've seen you in lectures with that same face honey people have this thing of like oh on close friends you should be posting like taking drugs and twerking i want to see your man i want to see you having someone's like i want to see you having sex ah oh. <laughs> oh, like you want to see me men around on some <laughs> only fans content on instagram close friends but sometimes when it's close friends i saw you really 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 are my close friend you okay let me say for me personally if i if i have young close friends it just means that sometimes not even that deep, I just put you on close friends. And then some people are just like, I really fucks with you like that. I really feel your energy. So I'm going to put you on close friends. Doesn't necessarily mean you're my close friend. And around there, mid snorting of line, you're going to now screenshot that and not take it to you. Maybe I'm also just paranoid. But I just feel like <clears throat> things. And I actually have seen things that are on close friends, like screenshots, sharing so i don't know how i feel about people that do close friends i told this one guy i was in a certain place mm. but like i wasn't there and the place that i was at was actually quite lit so then i had to make close friends because i wanted to enjoy my time but like he was gonna see it so you know what i mean i see yeah often i often use it to like i'm hiding things oftentimes when, like that's also why i use close friends just know i'm hiding some things from certain people 
one thing that really gets to me are people that st like people that stand in queues. This is the way that people. I was, I was at Tiger Belly the other day, now and then like I don't know was I at McDonald's? Like I was getting food, and there was this guy. Oh my gosh, that nigga was trying to leave with a piece of my DNA. He was standing so close in the queue, man. He was like, this was me. This was him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the thing is that some of us that are very bootylicious, there's just like an extension, you know what I mean? Like, I might be standing here, but my butt is over there. So, like, you, your bums are just like, mm, like your legs are just on my butt, dog. Like, niggas that be standing like this. <laughs> <laughs> The chest is over there, but the legs are there. You know what I mean? Oh, I hate it so much. Like, guys, can you please learn like a, an adequate space, like the same space you keep when you're driving behind someone in a car. Please keep that same same energy. Keep that same speed when you're standing in a queue, especially behind hands. Cause the weird thing, man, is and I felt this at Groove. You know what Groove when you go to like where you order drinks, man? It's always jam packed. Everyone's trying to get something to drink. So obviously everyone's rubbing on each other and someone's dick is getting hard there, like... <laughs> you shouldn't be able to, to see the, the, the tab of her shirt. If you can, if you look in her, if you're standing close and you can see the tag at the back of her shirt, you're standing too close. You're standing way too close. Back it up. I hate small talk. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, like, obviously there's like, I don't know how to put it, there's... <clears throat> Because obviously when you meet someone, you just, hey, hi, what's up? Then there's some people that, like, they really drag that small talk. Like, some, someone that really, someone that thinks they're having a conversation with you, but they're really just small talking. And old people love doing this. They'll be like, hey, what's up? I'm a firm believer that, you know, that's how people do witchcraft. They have small talk with you. They find <laughs> out what's cutting with your life. And then they go and tagata you. I'm telling you, they'll be like, oh, do me so how are you doing? Where are your parents? Girl, you never even call us. You don't even have our number phone. Number phone, you don't even have it. But you wanna be asking where my parents are. What are you gonna do with that information? Hmm? And they say, oh, I don't have your mother's numbers. What if my mother cut you off? You're gonna be asking for my mother's numbers. Ah, uh, I don't see them anymore. You don't even come to our house talk about I don't see them anymore. Ah. Uh. So, how was school? Are you passing? Why do you wanna know that? I'm still waiting for my congratulations on passing my trick. You're gonna be asking me how are things going here at my current at my current school. No, sorry, thank you. Cause now you've said all these things. You've told them where your mother is, where your father is. If they're still working at the same place that they thought they were working at, and now you're passing, think they can see that yeah, this person's just flourishing in life. Then one month and a half later, your life is just upside down. So that girl that got put in a bottle. Yeah, there's a girl that got put in a bottle. You didn't see that post. That Han, her best friend, put. Hi! You saw that, that Twitter, that tweet. The Han, her friend, I think her friend went to the shower. Yeah. And she was looking for what, 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 what. Now she saw there was a stick and a picture of her on that stick on in a bottle. Guys, when days are dark, friends are few. Because it's Ebu Suka the night and everyone is sleeping. But also, when days are dark, friends are few because your friends, they tagata. Oh, imagine Dewey, so you're like, oh, go get the camera. Okay. Damn, I thought. Then I come with a pic. Hey, you have a whole shrine of me there and all my videos in your wardrobe. I think you hey, hey, hey. People need to stop getting. I feel like there's something. People get touched about like when we say, like, let us say. <laughs> you see, so people are like, oh, you guys are ruining our language. You are the same people that were like, you 
you guys should learn how to speak like Kosala because we're carrying the nation on our back. The whole nation depends on the Kosa nation. Everyone needs to know how to speak the Nkuni language. Here we are, we are conversating. We are with you, Batas. Mutas. <laughs> We are here, we are conversing. Zulu, Nyasi Kuluma Isi Zulu, as I have said. <laughs> I'm trying to be one, I'm trying to be, you know, part of that, I'm part, part of the Nguni, Nguni things. You're trying to conversate. You guys are always trying to hate. <laughs> You guys actually don't know that I was actually a rapper in my past life. This guy so fly that you can't deny, aka Petty Cash. I'm petting my like Petty Cash. Guys, that was my unpopular opinions. Thanks for tuning. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And I'll see you next week with another one.